Can you take the Yosemite step one exam while you're fasting? Short answer is yes, you can do that, especially because it's pass fail. And this is what I did. Hey guys, if you're new here, I'm Yasin Better. I'm an Egyptian American medical student studying medicine in Egypt and taking the USMLE in order to practice medicine in the United States. So about three weeks ago, I took my USMLE step one exam in, in April 30th and the results came out May 18 and I passed. Alhamdulillah, I passed and it was like a burden that was removed from my back. Hopefully all you guys who is watching this channel uh, get rid of this exam exam too because it's very stressful and it's a very long exam you know board exams are long that's like a fact <laughs> Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about my experience, like how did I fast and also take my US MLE step one exam. So let's get right into it. So a very important announcement here, before my test by three to four days, let's say a week, okay? A week before my exams, my step one exam, I had very good MBME scores. Uh, very good about from 220s to 240s. So it's well above the passing range. So that's why I had no problem deciding whether I should fast or not because I said okay it's not gonna make like a big deal if I fasted like let's say if my performance drops a little bit I'm still in the passing range so and of course because I'm a Muslim like I'm a very practicing Muslim so I care very much about Islam's regulations so I didn't want to break my fast for for some exam it doesn't matter how important it is like fasting is much more important to me than any other exam so if you are in the 220s or let's say 210 or 25 for example like 200 to 2 10 range i cannot advise you on doing anything like you have to decide this for yourself but think very well before uh, fasting during this exam because your focus drops over the course of the exam so you have to take care of that and of course you have to experiment before it so before my exam i took mbme 30 fasting you know i didn't drink i didn't eat mbme 30 straight five hours i took 10 minutes be between each section exactly as i'm gonna as i'm going to do on the real deal and i pass even not even pass like I, I scored in the 250s if I remember in MBME 30 that's why I decided on fasting and not breaking my fat so let's talk about exam day let's talk about suhoor okay so you know instead of breakfast I had suhoor okay so suhoor was at 4 a.m. and my exam was at 8 a.m. so I drank some coffee a little bit of coffee uh, this is for drinks uh, I ate oatmeal and four boiled eggs and by the way I didn't eat I didn't drink a lot of coffee because coffee inhibits the ADH receptors in the kidneys and and prevents you from absorbing water and makes you dehydrated for uh, periods of time so you have to take care not to drink a lot of coffee and especially if you're fasting or not to basically drain yourself out of water after school i went to pray and then i went to sit with my family to talk about you know different things till my exam i went at 7 a.m i went to the test center and i waited for my exam to start and here we go i started the first block it was very good all along till the block number three and then after that my focus began began to decrease a little bit so my focus began began to drop after block number three before that it was fine like before block three it was fine so i didn't have much trouble solving questions while fasting before block three after block three like starting block four five six my focus starts to you know decrease a little bit especially because of my idiot so it, it kind of depends from one person to person but for me it was mm, kind of difficult I'm not gonna say difficult I'm just gonna explain like what exactly do I mean by difficult in the next few minutes okay and some some people may ask what so if you're fasting what do you do during breaks so during breaks I went to the bathroom and actually I washed my face and I did some push-ups okay and I said okay there is no there is nothing I can do to increase my blood flow to the brain so I'm gonna just do some push-ups probably it my may increase my performance a little bit I, I can't say helped but this is all I could do during the exam so that's what I did I washed my face and I did some push-ups and that's it and then I went back to my block anyway I was excited throughout the exam because it was exam day and I have been studying for this exam since year three in med school so it was a very long journey and I was happy that it's finally over and I hope all you guys who is watching get rid of this shitty exam as fast as possible because it's painful 
I understand, like I understand the, the struggle. Even though it's becoming a pass fail now, it's still a struggle. And may Allah help you all who is watching me and who is not watching me help all of medical students. And here we go after the exam. I'm finally done with the seven blocks of this grueling long exam. And I was, uh, and I was extremely happy when I finished. Didn't matter if I like solved well or didn't solve well. Definitely I had questions. I had no idea what these guys are talking about, but it didn't, it didn't matter because it's pass fail and I'm like, I'm, I'm ready. I was ready before the exam and it's finally over. And I cannot believe I'm finally done with this exam and I'm gonna focus on my clinical exam exams uh, after that so guys it's a very good feeling after you're done with this exam it doesn't matter if it's becoming pass fail like medical students all the time say oh it's pass fail doesn't matter no it, it's still a pain in the ass okay and that's that was my experience I'm gonna make another video uh, explaining what how exactly did I study for step one and what to do since step one is becoming pass fail now and how to avoid like mistakes I've done and everything like that. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you stay tuned for upcoming videos. Thank you so much.